Anne Askew lived in England in 1546 and was imprisoned and horribly tortured for her faith. Placed on this crazy torture rack, her joints and bones were pulled out of, out of socket. She fainted from the pain, but when she regained consciousness, she preached for two hours to her captors. On the day of her execution, she was carried to the stake in a chair because her bones were dislocated and she couldn't walk. At the last moment, she was offered a king's pardon if she would recant. She said this, I do not come here to deny my Lord and Master. So she died praying for executioners in the midst of the flames. See, I know you're like, Daniel, thanks a lot. That's such a great way to start my morning. But let's begin and listen to this scripture. Matthew 7, 20 and 21 says, Yes, just as you can identify a tree by its fruit, so you can identify people in their actions. Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. See, my wife, Joy, and I are married. In that relationship, there should be communication and a regular time spent together. Also, my actions with other people and women should demonstrate that I am taken and I am no longer a single man. The same thing in our Christian lives. Are you living in love with your Creator? I asked my students recently this question. So I want you to hear it and think about this. If today the country we live in is made that is illegal to preach the gospel or even be a Christian, which these days doesn't seem so far-fetched as we once thought, but if you were found out, would you be arrested and executed for those beliefs? Here's the question. If you're arrested and they take you before the court and ask, is there enough evidence in your life to convict you of being a Christian? Is there more than just a Bible on a shelf or a scripture on your refrigerator? Or are you living it out as one in love with the one who gave you everything to spend eternity with you? See, I share all this today at the beginning of your day to have you take stock of who you are. What is your relationship with God like? Are you fully invested in, as Pastor Neil says, are you leaning into the Christian life that God has called us to? Are you living out the 10 values that we've been talking about recently? It talks about us being engaged in love with God. So today, take a look at who God has called us to be as His bride and ask, would you be convicted of being in love with God if you were taken before a judge today?